Just a flesh wound. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tuesday, April 26, 2011. I was listening to the radio the other day, and I heard this story about these two ladies that beat up this other lady in a Baltimore McDonald's. I, I didn't really think a whole lot about it when I heard it, and I saw somebody, a friend of mine, on their Facebook posted something that they had just seen the video, and how it really broke their heart. So I went online, and I looked at the video, and to tell you the truth, it's pretty brutal. Just so unspeakably cruel. Two girls attacking a third, apparently because she dared to use the ladies' room as a transgender woman. At one point, they grab Chrissy Lee Polis's hair and drag her across the restaurant. While I say no one really helped out, the truth is no one really did. Uh, at the very beginning of the video, it looked like there was a, a McDonald's manager, somebody that stepped in and tried to break it up. But for a long time, she's basically just getting the crap kicked out of her by two girls. I know not everyone agrees on the same issue. Republicans, Democrats, homosexual or straight, black, white, Christian, atheist, DC or Marvel, X-Men or Fantastic Four, whole milk or 2%. We all have differences, and we and none of us are going to agree on every every issue. But one thing that I think we can all look at and realize is that this was a person. It's not a wild animal that's attacking a small child or anything like that. It's a it's a human being. The story in the Bible of the Good Samaritan comes to mind. This lady was being beaten. She uh, didn't have anyone there, and and I don't think anyone wanted to step in. You you hear the people laughing that are taking the video. No one does anything. There's, there's way more people in the restaurant than these two ladies, but no one wants to stand up and help this, this lady. And, and if it were me, man, just watching that video, I would hope that I would have enough courage uh, to stand up, even if, it was, even if I was the only one. I've seen a show that I think ABC puts on, and they basically set something up to where they see if somebody will stand up and say something. They had one where an actor was staged as a cashier, and a, a blind customer came in. And the customer the, ordered something, and the order turned out to be like 5 or $6, and the customer handed him a $20 bill. And the actor, who was also the cashier, gave him the wrong amount of change intentionally. The, the, the blind man said, are you sure this is the right change? And he said, yeah. And no one really said anything. Eventually, there was one person that would say something, and they show all these people that don't say anything, and they show the two or three that stand up for it. The verse in the Bible that talks about loving your neighbor as yourself really comes to mind here. The video of the woman getting beaten in the McDonald's, the people filming, the people watching, the people in the background. If any of them were in the same situation, if any of them were being attacked, if we're being mistreated, they wouldn't want people filming it and just staying on the sidelines laughing. It's real easy to not get involved or just turn your head. It's real easy to to say that, yeah, I would do something if I were there, but when you're actually put in that situation, it's a different story. I hope that no matter what, if I'm ever put in a situation like that, it doesn't matter who the person is, what the person's skin color is like, what the person's sexual preference is like, what uh, religion they believe in, it doesn't matter. I still believe that that verse in the Bible stands true. It doesn't give any qualifications. It doesn't say that if that person's white or if that person believes or votes the same way you do, then you can treat them the same way as you would like to be treated. Then you can love them. It just says, love your neighbor as yourself.